Alors, uh -huh. Chateau Lasserre, we're, we're back on top of the, of, of the limestone plateau, as you can see. Uh, the cellar is even built on, the, on, on that, that brick of limestone. Um, and uh, so, very different wines. It's a Grand Cru Classé, like La Roque. Um, so, it, it's a wine that has a, a more complexity, um, the, the, but there's a beautiful minerality. Chateau mm -hmm. Lasserre, in its youth, especially during the on-primer tasting, um, is always dominated by the acidity. And it's almost like a, a, a citrus type of, of, of acidity, um, uh, sort of, uh, you know, those very ripe limes. Um, yeah. and, uh, and, but that helps them age beautifully. Um, so on primer, it's always a little difficult to, to sort of understand those wines. Um, but as soon as they have, uh, uh, like, four or five years in bottle, they're beautiful wines. The Lasser 11 right now uh, shows extremely well. And 2011 is still a young, a young vintage. Um, so um, it's, it's a very nice property, quite small as well. Um, and it's just behind uh, the, 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 the village of Saint-Emilion compared to, to, to Bel Air. So it's, it's, at the, it's at the very end of the valley that, uh, in, in which the, the village is, uh, uh, is nesting. Um, I think it's uh, uh, fascinating the way the soil is sort of, it's got that whiter colour and that's obviously the limestone coming through, which is something that you don't normally um, sort of, you don't normally associate with right bank soils at all. Um, but it, it's exactly. Like yeah, it's 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 a blend of uh, of digraded limestone and 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 much lighter clay. 